Hey friends, today's video is on the Final Warning Exotic Sidearm, and I could have the description on screen and show off the weapon, but that's not really going to help you because it is such a unique weapon. And it's kind of an ironic case. You would think that an auto-tracking smart pistol would be easy to use since it shoots for you, but surprisingly, it is one of the most challenging exotic weapons for me to get a grasp and handle on in order to be competitive with. High key, this exotic sidearm has so much tech that comes along with it and so much micro decision making that honestly has its own skill ceiling. So if you see someone out in the wild slaying out with this, you're getting bodied and you think, oh, let me switch this auto pistol so I can keep up. It's not going to help you. There is that much of a gap and that feels so weird saying it because it is an auto tracking pistol. So now describing how the gun works, it's kind of like a fusion rifle in a bow hybrid. You have to hold down the fire button to charge, and while you're charging, a red diamond will appear on the opponent. Once that diamond appears, you can release and then immediately start tap firing to send an extra barrage of bullets. If you hip fire, the bullets auto track. If you aim down sights, the bullets do extra damage in a more linear path. So I'd always planned on reviewing this exotic and spending a couple play sessions trying to master it, and along that journey, I met two very skilled Final Warning users. The first was Dane, and the second was Lazur, both of which make my gameplay look garbage by comparison, so both of their YouTube channels are in the links below, as well as a Discord dedicated to specifically a compendium of Final Warning knowledge and advanced tips. So I was lucky enough to have my play session with both Dane and Laz over my shoulder where I was able to ask any question that came to mind and they would give me just a gut reaction answer. And I probably asked a hundred plus questions, right? So eventually I ironed out exactly what are good habits to build so that anytime I pull this weapon out of my vault, I can pull up my little notepad that reminds me how to use this weapon to skip the growing pains over and over and over again. This is what I ended up with. Good habits to build. Number one, double swap weapons, or sprint to cancel the charge. This is what you're going to be doing 99% of the time while you're fishing for that red diamond. Number two, do not commit to the full charge. Commit to acquiring that diamond and then tap fire. Number three, if full charging, you can always aim down sights at the last second to get that bigger damage. Number four, if the opponent is straight lining, you should ADS. If they run away, follow them very fast while hip firing. Number five, just because you have a red diamond doesn't mean you have to use it. Number six, this is a gun where it goes against my normal crucible tip. Focus on your movement, not your aim. So do anything you can to make your opponent miss. This means teabag strafe, jump over their head, Icarus dash in a circle, all the above. Speaking of Icarus dash, while there are many builds to pair with Final Warning, I am going to recommend Dawnblade as the beginner build, and after you master this weapon, you can start experimenting with other things that could arguably work better in more niche situations. But for general use, Dawnblade is just the best, because they're able to float while charging, and then also have Icarus Dash to get around cover to utilize the hip fire better. Now, the final thing to mention, no pun intended because of the name of the exotic, is that on March 5th, Crucible is going through a new evolution where it becomes essentially Checkmate Light. And depending on what the damage values of Final Warning are, this gun might rise in popularity, and it is a very, very difficult gun to counter when you understand how to use it. And I'm super curious how high-level games are going to play out if more than one player in the lobby is capable of using this gun. Past that, friends, I'm keeping it very brief in this video. Final Warning was a challenging exotic to use. That's the summary. And as I get better with it, I will check back in and re-review it with maybe more advanced techniques. Until then, though, I'm going to keep jumping around from weapon to weapon, build to build, and maybe I'll return to Final Warning if it makes sense in a competitive setting. Pretty well works to be uh, at least one. <laughs> yeah, at least, least one. <laughs> or at least, like, given my type of player, a corner to have fun in. 
Because, like, why else make mayhem if it's not a balance mode? I just wish they tried this <laughs> much without you any know. of the other changes. Just <laughs> yeah. exactly. I could do, 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 do it again, I can 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 do it again. Do it again, do it again. Wait, what? <laughs> he's already, he's already got a 5 streak. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> that was good. Oh my god. I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> sit up the top in the tree. Oh, maybe not. One day I want to get so good at FPOSU and Final Warning at the same time that someone's prepared to come into my stream like talking mad mad shit like how are you using the auto pistol and then I'm just like ripping rhythm game aim trainer He just saw what happened to his teammates and he's like, I'm okay. How about y'all go ahead? Oh no, I wanted the sunlight hurts my eyes. That's fine. I don't know what that was. I just needed to extend it. No! Yes! <laughs> Close. Oh, good crossbow. I was getting greedy on the double lock. Nice, the one green matters. No! Okay, maybe now someone's gonna come into my stream. Wow, must be nice having the gun aim for you. Quick, 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 gotta go to Mikosu, gotta go to Mikosu.